Hello, Sea Piercer. So there's probably been some time where you've been writing a piece and some expression collides with the bar line and you're like, well, it has to go there, but it just looks kind of ugly having text go right through with this middle of the bar line. And so today we're going to fix that. And the process is actually quite simple. So first come up here to your expressions tool, find the expression. I hit enter to get there, hit edit, enclosure shape, rectangle, edit the rectangle. Basically, this enclosure shape is going to be a little box around this. That way we can hide anything that's behind the text. So to hide something, we have to make it opaque. And this line looks unnecessary to me. So we're going to set the line thickness to be zero. That way we hide the line. And then that's it. Hit OK, OK, assign. And you can see now it's blocked out. You may be saying, well, it's blocking a bit too much on either side. So we're going to come back up here, hit edit, edit and you can actually change how big the enclosure is over here. So I'm going to add a line thickness again, oh, 0 0.006. And we're going to come over here and we're just going to move this up and down just that way we can see it, right? Uh, and then width, I want this to be like 0.3. You can also set the numbers over here. I usually prefer just dragging it like that. Again, no line thickness, clear that out. And there you can see, now we get the line coming closer to the text. Now we can do a similar thing with dynamics. For instance, if you have dynamic over here, that's going over the bar line. It's the exact same process. Edit, enclosure, rectangle, edit. We want it to be opaque. And we can see the default enclosure is actually quite big. So like before, we're going to make that a lot smaller. Then take out the line thickness, hit OK all the way down. We can see the dynamic is no longer colliding with the bar line. So that's it. You can go through and do this for pretty much every single thing. And then once you have it set up, put it in your document style so that we never have to worry about it again. If you don't know how to do that, I have a link in the description. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to like it. Each week I post new content about using Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss any of those videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified as soon as anything comes out.